So unfortunate news here for Samoa Joe as he's going to be hit with a 30-day suspension by WWE for breaking the wellness policy. Two concussions in this year. Two concussions already for Samoa Joe. One of them coming from a commercial and you look back and say, you know what? Maybe it was a good 30-day suspension for him. I mean, you hate to see it for the guy. It looked like there was the potential of WWE finally giving this guy some sort of push, getting him into a match or a tag team title match against the guy like Seth Rollins. Could be that, you know, door opening that he's finally been waiting for from WWE. We've seen Joe come to WWE with so many expectations, but we've yet to really see anything come to fruition here. But maybe this was finally his chance. But unfortunately, we see the concussions come across. And then we see him break the wellness policy, which you just you just can't do. WWE's been hammering down on it. If Roman Reigns wasn't an example that they didn't care who you was, nothing was. And that's the big problem here for Samoa Joe. He's going to be out 30 days and no bigger time of the year than WrestleMania season. We'll see if WWE has to reshake things up here in the tag team division or if it was, you know, there's other plans in the works in the first place. But Samoa Joe being kicked out essentially of wrestlemania this year is the way it's looking right now due to him breaking the wellness policy it'd be a very big surprise if he came back for a week did a storyline and somehow made it into wrestlemania maybe he gets into an andre the giant battle royale or memorial or whatever but it's unfortunate for joe but at the end of the day he is in control of what he puts in his own body and he broke the wellness policy so what wwe chooses to do with samoa joe after he returns could be a very interesting one for now though joe is out of the picture